How to gain weight fast and safely. What does underweight really mean? Being underweight is defined as having a body mass index BMI below 18.5. This is estimated to be less than the body mass needed to sustain optimal health. Conversely, over 25 is considered overweight and over 30 is considered obese. However, keep in mind that there are many problems with the BMI scale, which only looks at weight and height. It does not take muscle mass into account. Some people are naturally very skinny but still healthy. Being underweight according to this scale does not necessarily mean that you have a health problem. Being underweight is about two to three times more common among girls and women, compared to men. Being underweight can be just as unhealthy as being obese, if not more. People who are underweight are at risk of osteoporosis, infections, fertility problems and early death. Here are the several effective ways to gain weight fast, without ruining your health at the same time. Eat more calories than your body burns. You need to eat more calories than your body burns to gain weight. Aim for 300 to 500 calories per day above your maintenance level for slow weight gain or 700 to 1000 calories if you want to gain weight fast. Eat plenty of protein. Protein forms the building blocks of your muscles. Eating sufficient protein is required to gain muscle weight instead of just fat. Fill up on plenty of carbs and fat and eat at least three times per day. To gain weight, eat at least three meals per day and make sure to include plenty of fat, carbs and protein. Eat energy-dense foods and use sauces, spices and condiments. Here are some energy-dense foods that are perfect for gaining weight. Nuts, almonds, walnuts, macadamia nuts, peanuts, etc. Dried fruit, raisins, dates, prunes and others. High-fat dairy, whole milk, full-fat yogurt, cheese, cream. Fats and oils, extra virgin olive oil and avocado oil. Grains, whole grains like oats and brown rice. Meat, chicken, beef, pork, lamb, etc. Choose fattier cuts. Tubers, potatoes, sweet potatoes and yams. Dark chocolate, avocados, peanut butter, coconut milk, granola, trail mixes. Lift heavy weights and improve your strength. It's very important to lift heavy weights and improve your strength. This will help you gain muscle mass instead of just fat. Don't drink water before meals. This can fill your stomach and make it harder to get in enough calories. Eat more often. Squeeze in an additional meal or snack whenever you can, such as before bed. Drink milk. Drinking whole milk to quench thirst is a simple way to get in more high-quality protein and calories. Try weight gainer shakes. If you're really struggling then you can try weight gainer shakes. These are very high in protein, carbs and calories. Use bigger plates. Definitely use large plates if you're trying to get in more calories, as smaller plates cause people to automatically eat less. Add cream to your coffee. This is a simple way to add in more calories. Take creatine. The muscle-building supplement creatine monohydrate can help you gain a few pounds in muscle weight. Get quality sleep. Sleeping properly is very important for muscle growth. Eat your protein first and vegetables last. If you have a mix of foods on your plate, eat the calorie-dense and protein-rich foods first. Eat the vegetables last. Don't smoke. Smokers tend to weigh less than non-smokers, and quitting smoking often leads to weight gain. Gaining weight can be difficult, and consistency is the key to long-term success. It can be very difficult for some people to gain weight. That's because your body has a certain set point of weight where it feels comfortable. Whether you try to go under your set point, lose weight, or over it, gain weight, your body resists changes by regulating your hunger levels and metabolic rate. When you eat more calories and gain weight, you can expect your body to respond by reducing your appetite and boosting your metabolism. This is largely mediated by your brain, as well as weight-regulating hormones like leptin. So you should expect a certain level of difficulty. In some cases, you may need to force yourself to eat despite feeling stuffed. At the end of the day, changing your weight is a marathon, not a sprint. It can take a long time, and you need to be consistent if you want to succeed in the long run.